Well, it's probably best to tell the story of today with charts and to start with the good news, or at least the not-so-bad news. The Aussie dollar is now back at 75 US cents, its lowest level since the GFC and the same exchange rate that prevailed in the mid-90s and the mid-2000s. This is excellent news for Australian industry and businesses. We thanking the people of Greece. The latest fall was in line with a big drop in the euro over the weekend, what's commonly known as gapping down. It closed at one level on Saturday morning and opened somewhere else entirely today. And that spot I've circled there at the end is when the Greek finance minister, Yanis Varoufakis, resigned. The euro spiked upwards in response to that. Here's a graph of the Shanghai Composite Index, which opened almost 8% higher this morning and is now a little better than flat on the day. Incredible volatility. Huge falls on Wednesday and Thursday, big rise and fall on Friday and the same today. The volatility index, or what's called the fear index, has jumped sharply in the past few days, unsurprisingly. But what I want to show with this chart is that it's in the context of gradually rising fear for the past 12 months. So what we're seeing in investment markets is a flight to safety. Bonds are up today and stocks are down. The pros call it risk off, which means they're reducing their holdings of risky assets such as Australian dollars and shares, and especially mining company shares which are copying the double whammy of uncertainty over Greece and China. Banks are seen as relatively safer, so they didn't go down quite as much. The Shanghai market might have ended higher today, but Hong Kong and Japan fell. And here's the Australian dollar, 75 US cents, and down to just 48 British pence, also the lowest in six years. And that's finance.